In this tech tip, we're going to look at a couple of other ways to use the mate connector other than assembling components. Many times users find themselves creating reference planes to sketch on, but in Onshape, you don't have to do this. When you start creating a sketch, you can choose to reference a mate connector and create one on the fly. Simply select an entity you want to reference, such as the cylindrical body in this part, and then if it doesn't line up quite the way you need, you can actually edit the mate connector and then make adjustments, such as realigning it to geometry in the parts studio and even defining an offset. This is basically the same thing as creating an offset plane, but you can do it on the fly. One of the unique advantages of using a mate connector to sketch on is it acts as an origin for the sketch. So you can use this to create sketch relationships, and you can also use this to dimension to to define your sketch entities. This same method can also be used when you want a sketch normal to a curve. Again, we can forego creating a reference sketch plane by simply selecting the end of the curve and creating our sketch geometry right on that curve. This reduces the amount of features you need to create in the feature tree and simply simplifies the entire design process. Another really powerful use case for this method is when creating sketches on the center of cylindrical bodies. This is typically much more complicated to create a reference plane on. However, using this method, you simply need to select the cylindrical body at the center mate connector location. Mentioned briefly before, the mate connector acts as an origin for the sketch. I find this particularly useful when sketching hole locations. I can really quickly create a symmetric sketch with a single line, and in this case, a point at the center. This is going to act as the hole locations for a hole feature representing three two millimeter dowels that are going to go between the cylindrical boss feature and the gusset part. I found this method so quick and easy to use when defining these types of holes that I'll even use it on surfaces that are already planar when creating holes like this. So again, here I have a rib feature where I wanna create two holes. I simply create a mate connector on the center of the surface, and then I only have to locate the endpoint of one of the lines. And again, I can simply just use this line to define my two holes in this case. So like before, I simply select the entire sketch. Now as a bonus here, I wanna mention you can use the mate connector in other locations. In this case, I wanna start the hole at the center of the cylindrical body. So I can choose start from selected plane. And just like when creating a sketch, I can add the mate connector, make a quick adjustment to the alignment, and use that as my defining starting point for this hole. This removes a lot of extra steps in this process. As a bonus tech tip, sometimes you wanna mirror features in a part studio and don't have a plane to work with. Very similar to creating sketches, you can create a plane right on the fly using a mate connector. In this case, we need to mirror this cut from one side of the body to the other we can simply create a mate connector on the fly in the center of the body and mirror that feature over without the need to create an additional construction plane. 